you know anything in your heart that which you had to do and you did not do that which you did and you were not supposed to do that's gonna be a hindrance to your blessings that's gonna be a hindrance to the reception of your worship unto God you wanna plead the blood you wanna plead for forgiveness let the blood cleanse us that we might be blameless we might be found faultless before the throne of grace we plead the blood we plead the blood we plead the blood we plead the blood forgive us oh lord for our iniquities forgive us oh lord of our shameful ways forgive us oh lord for our lustful desires that are not pleasing to you we pray oh lord that by your blood you will cleanse us from all unrighteousness and we purpose to live for you we purpose to stay on track we purpose to live in the light we purpose light according to your word and by your word have your way in our lives oh lord have your way in this place oh lord let there be signs and wonders oh lord let someone have a miracle oh lord hey for this is your house this is your dwelling come and take your place 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 fill our hearts oh lord and let our offerings let our praises let our worship be acceptable unto you, O oh Lord. Hey, we bless your holy name. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this passing of my soul.
your needs. You want to open yourself and your hearts unto Him. You want to yield your members to Him. You know where you need strength. You know where you need empowerment. You want to lift up your voice. Say, Lord, I need you, oh Lord. Let today be a special day in my life. I need your impartation, oh Lord. I need your strength. I need a revival. I need strengthening in my life. Where's our 
We bless your name, O oh Lord. You are worthy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lamb. Hallelujah. Praise the Lamb. My heart sings His praise again. Praise the 
Hallelujah. Praise God. The psalmist says, I was glad when they say, let us go to the house of Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, my, I'm, you know, I'm that kind of person that cannot stand to testify, but I have to testify this. If it has not been God, I wouldn't have been able to get what we got today. Thank you, Lord. You know, do you know dream comes true? Keep dreaming. Sometimes when I'm driving to work, I keep dreaming that I want to live in a big house. And my husband should make a lot of money. So I don't need to work. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Actually, so what happened is that I have two testimony. I want to combine it to two. Two years ago, the guy that I work for, so the bank called me. They said, I'm not qualified because I'm a caregiver. So they want to take my house. I was crying. And my boss told me, why are you crying? I'm like, I need money. How much? I said, 175000 so I don't know where to get it. He said, don't worry, I just sold my land. So my boss gave me that money to pay the bank off. That was my first testimony. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So there's this property that came because me and Rob, we always drive. And this place, I think everybody may have known this Archie scene. What happened, we drove one day and we saw this a piece of property. I don't know how we're going to get it. But I know I'll be dreaming. I want to live in 5,000 square feet house. But I don't know how God is going to do it. So meanwhile, we, 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 saw the land, we saw the property in Calgary. And the renter, they're supposed to pay us. And I don't know how they're going to pay. But they said, the end of June, they will pay us. So we called the bank to borrow us this money. So we need 60,000, and the bank was playing us. Actually, people started bidding on this property. I don't know, because we are the first person that saw this property. Out of nowhere, five people were bidding. You know, I don't know how we're gonna get it, but I really want the property. So I came to the bulldozer of the house, that bulldoze things that refused to bulldoze, yes. which is our father. I said, Pastor, so the people asked us to pay 535 and we wrote the check uh, $535. And we said, Daddy, you have to do this. We need this property. But other people are bidding 600 700 But I don't know what happened. Papa said, I remember Papa prayed one prayer. I said, Lord, with their money, let them be rejected. Yeah. I'm like, wow. I said, God, it's you that have to do this. So Papa prayed pray this prayer with us, and he asked us to go. Don't worry. So me and my husband, that was the day that sister, sister Mary was doing her wedding, the, the, the renewal of vow. So we, like, we came here and said, Lord, who is this also called South Felicia that is challenging the army of the living God, the daughter of Zion? I said, with their money, Lord, we don't have money. We have 535. We need this property. So we were in that wedding, and the the relator called and said, you know what, we didn't qualify, for, we didn't win it. Robert now asked him why. He said, those people were bidding higher. So Robert said, okay, how much are they bidding? He said the last, because those that was, those one that was bidding 600, 700, they, based on their house, they have to sell their house before they can pay. And this guy said, the closing day, just two days, and they have 20,000 to put down. So. Robert said, okay, let me go and talk to my wife. He said, Lily, these people have two days to close. I'm like, don't tell, you know what, tell the relator, we, uh, the guy is going to pay 550. I said, okay, tell him we will pay 551. So, yeah. So the guy said, yeah, the guy said, we don't need to pay 1,000, we should match it. And that was it. So that is how we match it. So he said, give me, two, uh, give me 10 minutes. We were in the party, he called by, said, guess what, you got the property. <laughs> so now I need 60000 to complete it. I went to the bank. The bank said, we should provide the other money first. So I told the relator, we need money. So okay, let me talk to the owner. Have you ever seen where the owner borrowed you money to buy you a whole land? And that was what happened. So, the, you know, he said, we should be worried. He's going to borrow us the money. So, eventually, borrow us the money. That's how we got this big piece of property. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Amen! Hallelujah! God is good all the time. We have a God of possibility. Hallelujah. More, more, more are coming, more on the way. 
I will call Sister Auntie Edith to give her testimony. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the living God. Praise the God of living waters. Hallelujah. Um, I'll start from, like you all know my story about how the enemy wanted to kill me about 16, about 20 years ago, before I had Michael. And um, I came to Living Waters, and um, I never knew God, the, the real God, the creator of heaven and earth, lives in this church. Yes, yes. Where is faith? Faith is my, is the one the Lord sent to me. I love you with all my heart. Trust me. No matter anything you will do to me, I love you. Amen. She brought me to a Living Waters Assembly of God. <laughs> she came to my house. We were together. All of a sudden, the attack came. I was yelling like a dog. And she said, no, mama, no, 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 no. This is too much. She started praying, crying, speaking in tongues. No way. The thing was just paining me. And then she said, I have to come to Living Waters. I said, no way. Black people church again. Mm -mm. Me, I'm not going. Black pastors, ha, God forbid. I will never go close to them. And then she said, come and see. Come and hear. I said, I'm not coming. So she came to my house. She drove me to church. So as I was there, where I was standing, Mama Rose saw me and said, sister, come, come. I said, who, me? She said, yes. Mm. So I came out. She took the microphone away and said, um, you have problem with your stomach? I said, yes. The doctor said this, blah, blah, blah. I said, yes. And how did you know? She said, the Holy Spirit just told her. I said, okay. And then she called my son, Roy, too. And he asked Roy a question about something. And Roy said, no. He said, good. The Lord is with you. So I was like that. I can't eat some kind of food. I can't drink some kind. In fact, water sometimes it provokes my stomach. Until she said, if you want to go to your church, you can keep going to your church. But you have to come here for deliverance every Monday. So I said, okay. So I started coming. Started coming. Started coming. So I became a member of Living Waters. But I was still having that problem. She said, no, they must leave you alone. They like it or not. So she prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. I went through deliverance. Before, you know, like I said the other time, I don't put on high shoes anymore. I have them plenty high, high, high. I don't wear them. All because of my stomach problem. And I have the, um, the, the scan that I was supposed to bring to the church to, for the whole church to see my stomach. You can't look at my stomach twice. Even me, when I see it, I see Jesus. So I got mad and I told everything I threw them away. But today, it's a, it's a pity I don't have it uh, for you people to see. So I've been promising God for testimony, for thanksgiving. I'm going to throw a party to tell the world that my God is alive. I'm alive. The doctors told me in Europe that I'm going to die. They, they said they're going to leave me to my fate. I came to Canada, the same thing. I said, God, save my life. So when I came to Living Waters, I'm standing here. I can eat, I can dance, I can jump up and jump down. No problem. That's why I said, faith, oh nah. And then the husband again, my daddy, my brother, my friend, brother Ken. I will never joke with you people. May the Lord bless you all abundantly anybody that will set evil eyes against you that eyes must blind personally i will see and i will blind those eyes for you you understand i want to say thank you to mama rose daddy is not here i want to say thank you all for the support of prayers may the lord continue to lift you guys up in jesus name i have a party of people you come and eat with me and drink with me and dance with me okay today for if i don't see anybody here there i'll see you Glory be to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord for this great deliverance. Hallelujah. God is good. At this time, I call the choristers to give us a song of ministration. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God, is good. God has been faithful to us. 
He's been good. We've heard testimonies. And today we just want to celebrate our Lord. We just want to rejoice and dance and praise his name. Just join us as we celebrate Jesus. Amen. 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 Doesn't matter what comes my way, the greater one lives inside of me. His name is Jesus. I'm born a winner, more than Victoria. Doesn't matter what comes my way 
68. The prophet said, Who are these that fly like doves to their roasts and like clouds? I want to see flyers here. I want to see flyers here. Say, I am flying. I am flying. Father, we thank you. We thank you in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. that we are more than conquerors. We are more than victorious. Amen. Lord, we give you glory for this is the day that you have made. Amen. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Because we are not ordinary people. Your anointing has made us extraordinary people. Amen. Oh, therefore we give you glory. Therefore, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Therefore, we give you honor. Amen. Therefore, we give you adoration. Amen. For today, you have comforted us that indeed you are with us. Amen. You are with us. Amen. You are with us. Amen. We thank you, Lord, that we will take on the heights of the land in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want you to take a moment and pray. Take a moment and pray. In Jacob's darkest hour of life, when he took to flight, when he went into the wilderness, he was running away. Physically, he was all by himself. But spiritually, he wasn't alone. There was somebody with him. There was somebody following him. And at night time, when he had to sleep, Bible said he took a stone. A stone was his pillow. How can somebody have a comfortable sleep with a stone? Yet on that stone, the king of glory showed up. Amen. The king of glory showed up. Amen. He saw heaven open. He saw heaven open. A ladder touching from heaven to the earth. And the angels of God going up and down. He saw a man standing up there. I am the God of your fathers, Abraham and Isaac. I will be with you. I will be with you. Amen. On this journey, I will be with you. Amen. Church, on this journey, we are not Amen. alone. Amen. On this journey, we will come to the wilderness. Amen. On this journey, sometimes a stone will be our Amen. pillow. But I want you to know, on this journey, the Lord is with us. Amen. The Lord is with us. Amen. When he woke up, he said, the Lord is here. And I did not know. And he poured the oil on the ground. If God will be with me, go with me on my journey. Give me food to eat, close to where. Give me shelter. This God will be my God. Amen. This God will be my God. Amen. This God will be my God. Amen. As he migrated, he didn't have it easy. He suffered in the night in the field with his uncle's flock. He said, the sun consumed me in the day, the heat and the cold of the night kept me awake. Yeah. Yet the God of my fathers was with me. Hallelujah. The Lord is with us. Amen. The Lord is with us. Amen. Amen. And in Deuteronomy, Chapter 32, where Moses was singing of the goodness of God, of the greatness of God. He spoke about the covenant father Jacob. And he said in verse 10, He found him in a desert land and in the wasteland. A howling wilderness 
Somebody might be in the howling wilderness, being tossed about by the storms of life. But the Lord said, tell my people, I am with them. Amen. Amen. I am with my church. Amen. I am with you. Amen. Amen. I found him in the desert land, in the wasteland, a howling wilderness. I encircled him. I instructed him. I kept him, that is Jacob, as the apple of my eyes. That is what God is doing. I encircled him. I instructed him and kept him as the apple of my eye. As an eagle stirs up its nest and hovers over its young, spreading out its wings and taking them up, carrying them on its wings. So the Lord alone led him. So the Lord alone will lead some people here. Amen. So the Lord alone will lead living waters. Amen. So the Lord alone will lead our men. Amen. So the Lord alone will lead our women. Amen. So the Lord alone will lead the children. Amen. He made me, he made him ride in the heights of the earth. In the heights of the earth. In the heights of the earth amen that he might eat the produce of the fields amen he made him draw honey from the rock amen and oil from the flinty rock amen somebody will draw honey from the rock amen maybe what else will draw honey from the amen. rock amen if honey comes from the rock that tells you an impossible situation is possible. Hallelujah. Yes. For with our God, all things are possible. Amen. Amen. Lord, we thank you for who we are. Whom you have made us. Who we will continually be. Lord, we give you glory and honor. Lord, we give you praise and adoration. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. Amen. Be thou glorified. And give us your word, your sure word, your infallible word, Amen. your word which is sharper than any two edges sword. As you instructed Jacob, instruct us. As you encircled him, encircle us. Amen. And lead us to the heights. For it's not by might, nor by power, but by your spirit. Amen. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 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 Clap your hands for Jesus as you take your seat. Hallelujah. And shake somebody and say, It is well with your soul. Because Isaiah 3 10 say, Tell the righteous, say to the righteous, It shall be well with you. Hallelujah. So it is well with us. Amen. We thank God for a beautiful July, our month of divine remembrance, and the Lord will remember us. Amen. The Lord was with Jacob in the darkest moments of his life, and the Lord is with his people. Hallelujah. Today, I want to share quickly with you the workings of the anointing. Amen. And I'll try so we close on time. Let's come to church on time. Amen. So we can do everything on time. The workings of the anointing. The workings of the anointing. Amen. Amen. The workings of the anointing. And every one of us need the anointing upon our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. What then is the anointing? Amen. Amen. What then is the anointing? It is the divine power of God that rests upon a person through the Holy Spirit. A divine power of God that rests upon a person through his spirit. A divine power when you meet somebody on the road, you see them as ordinary. Unless maybe you have some mystic eye, you might not see that they are not ordinary people. 
or that person is not an ordinary person. Hallelujah. Amen. Or unless you try that person in a certain way and you get a kickback, then you know that, oh, this person is not ordinary. This person is charged with some power. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And there's the power of God's side. Amen. Amen. The anointing is the power of God that rests upon a person. When Jacob was running away, he was running as an ordinary man. Physically. But spiritually, he was carrying the anointing. Because his father had laid hands on him and prayed for him. And imparted an anointing upon him. A covenantal anointing. Amen. Mm. So though he was in destitute, though he was in pain, though he was alone physically, yet he was somebody so great. Amen. Amen. Every great thing starts small. Yes. Every mighty thing started tiny. He wasn't alone. No wonder Moses sang of him. The Lord found him in the wilderness. The Lord made him to ride on the heights. The Lord made him to draw honey from the rock. Honey does not come from rock. That means it's possible we can draw honey from a rock. Amen. Amen. Jesus can give us anything because he's the rock of ages cleft for us. Amen. Amen. He drew honey from the rock and all you flow into his life. The oil that is the anointing. Amen. The anointing. Amen. The divine power of God. No wonder the uncle noticed a difference when he was in his house. He said, I've known by divination, by the NIV version, I've known by experience, by New King James, the Lord has blessed me because of you. Amen. The Lord has blessed me because of you. Amen. Amen. The man knew because Laban was an idol worshiper. The workings of the anointing. The workings of the anointing. Laban knew something was not just ordinary with Jacob. So I've known by divination the Lord has blessed this house because of Yeshua. Amen. The same thing with Joseph when he entered Potiphar's house. The man noticed a change in his house. Something changed because when people are anointed and they enter any place, there must be a change. Amen. Amen. There must be a change. Amen. If there is no change, then you are not carrying anything. Amen. If you can affect somebody's life in a good way, you are empty. He said, I will make you the charge of everything in this house. Take charge of my house. And God bless the house of Potiphar because of Joseph. Why? Those people were carrying anointing. How did Joseph encounter an anointing? His father loved him. He made a coat of many colors and placed a blessing on the boy. It is a power, a divine power that stays with a person that the ordinary eye cannot see. It goes wherever the person will go with the person. Day and night. Day and night. It stays with the person. Anointing. The power of God. A divine element. 
And whenever that thing is placed on somebody, it is for a purpose. Amen. That is why I'm talking about its work. It's doings in a person's life. The workings of the anointing. It's for a purpose. Whenever that power rests on anybody, it means God has assignment for that person. Amen. Amen. And it, it can be conferred on a person through enemies. Through enemies. Either you specifically they pray for you and all you is poured on your head. Like God told uh, uh, Moses, anoint Aaron and his sons. Place at the anointing, the priesthood anointing on them that they may serve at my altar. They carried an anointing. And that is why even when he messed up, God couldn't punish him at that time. Because the anointing exempted him. Amen. Though Miriam got instant punishment, the anointing. When we read first Samuel chapter 16, we see David being anointed. Read the 12 and 13. David was anointed too. By the pouring, I'm telling you the ways and means by which this anointing can come upon a, upon a person. Hmm. So he sent and brought him in. Yes. Now he was ruddy with bright eyes mm -hmm. and good looking. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is the one. Mm -hmm. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day and forward. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. Amen. From that day forward. Amen. So from that day forward, the anointing rested on him in the form of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is invisible to any physical eye. It is only when he begins to do things through people, you begin to see that this one is loaded. A big amen. 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 From that day forward, the anointing rested on David. He was no longer the ordinary David. Everybody knew him. And that's what the anointing does. It makes somebody extraordinary. Amen. It transforms. One of amen. its work amen. is to transform a person's amen. life. Amen. It's for transformation. Amen. It changes you from ordinary to extraordinary. Amen. It changes you from an incapable person amen. to become a champion. Amen. It changes the person. Amen. It transforms their status amen. from non-entity to a shining star. Amen. That is what the anointing does. It changes a person's life. It changes a person's life. Without the anointing, you can struggle and struggle. You will get nowhere. Because human power is limited. And yesterday, I remember with so much passion, and, and, and I, I, I was appealing to the youth to take the youth ministry serious. Because if it's not important, I won't spend my time and come to them. Told them, I said, I appeal to you passionately. You can go for games. You can do anything. But you cannot become a star if you don't have the power of God backing you. Because those you are playing with, some of them, they are operating in the dark side. And they are making manipulation and enchantment to make sure their children also become stars. You are not competing with people who are working ordinary. Because human power is limited. Therefore, for everybody to get somewhere, they source powers. They source powers. So I was appealing to them, you can study, yes, you can go and get a PhD. But I'm telling you, if you don't have the anointing, if you don't have the grace on you, you will apply for a job, you will not get it. The one who has ordinary degree will get the job you have applied with your PhD. It's not by might, it's not by power. It's by the Spirit. Amen. When he rests upon a person, it is the, the Holy Spirit, that anointing that transforms the person. Amen. And church, we have to get it. You can live in Canada 60 years. Work three jobs. You will make nothing in 60 years time. If God is not on your side. If there is no anointing to help you. If there is no anointing. Yes. I'm telling you. We have immigrants in the Bible. 
Jacob at least immigrated. He worked 20 years. If God had not been with him, if he was not carrying an anointing, he would have been cheated and cheated and cheated. Ten times wages change. He would have left with nothing. He would have left with nothing. But because of the anointing, when he called his wives and was recounting to them, in Genesis 30 and 31, he was telling them, if the Lord had not been with me, your father would have sent me away empty. The anointing makes the difference. Oh. Amen. The anointing is what makes the difference. The anointing. It makes a nobody somebody. Amen. It brings somebody from a low position to a high position. Amen. Amen. And when Hannah was praising God in First Samuel chapter 2, he said, you lift the poor from the ash deep and you set them on table on heights with princes and kings. Amen. By strength will no man prevail. Amen. First Samuel 2, please read 8 to 10. He said, by strength, no man will prevail. It is the anointing that transforms. Somebody say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. I need your anointing. I need your anointing. That divine element. That divine I element. need it. I need it, I need it today. I need it as today. I hear this message hear for this transformation. Message. For, transformation. For, transformation. For, a for a turn around in my life, in my, life. In my, destiny. In my destiny. Shout a big amen. 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 May it be so as you have requested from amen. the Lord. Please read for us. He raises the poor from the dust. Yes. And leaves the beggar from the ash. Yes. To set them among princes. Yes. And make them inherit the throne of glory. Hey. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he has said the word upon them. Yes. He will guard the feet of his saints. He will guard the feet of his saints. So if he, that you don't have the anointing to guard your feet, you will fall into a pit. You will fall into the ground. You will take the wrong turn when you haven't reached where you are supposed to go. He guard the saints, or the feet of his saints. Mm -hmm. But the wicked shall be silent in darkness. Yes. For by strength no man shall prevail. By strength Amen. no man. By strength no man. No man means no man. Amen. Amen. A man stands for man and woman, boy and girl. No one can prevail. Amen. By ordinary human strength is the anointing that transforms a person's life. And when that anointing transforms that person's life, it brings you from obscurity to preeminence. Amen. It brings you from the darkness to the light. Amen. And when the anointing was working for Joseph, you see, when you are anointed, the trials will come. And they are big ones. Hey! 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 The anointing is for fighting. Amen. The anointing is to overcome. Amen. The anointing is for trials. Amen. So when trials and temptations rise, remember for this reason you have been anointed. Amen. Amen. Because when you have overcome those challenges, then you see the height where God wants you to be. Amen. He set your feet upon the rock. Amen. He set your feet upon the rock. Amen. He set your feet. Jacob Amen. just didn't go out into the height. He didn't just start and was at the height. It's not easy to climb a mountain. It depends on the size of your mountain. Some mountains are very short. But some mountains are very high. Some mountains you get on their top and you still can't see the top of another mountain. But there are some mountains where you get to their top, you can see the whole world. Amen. And that is the kind of mountain some Amen. anointing yes. have been released Amen. for. Amen. Where you can stand everywhere. He said he made him to ride on the heights of the earth. The heights of the earth. It's through the anointing that makes a person a champion. And when you, even when you become a champion, to stay as a champion is another challenge. Have you just seen champions who fail overnight? And everything they work for was taken from them. So it's not enough even becoming a champion, but staying a champion. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
So Holy Ghost anoint me. Holy Ghost anoint me. Holy Ghost fill me. Holy Ghost fill me. Change me from ordinary. Change me from ordinary to extraordinary. To extraordinary. Change me. Change me. My position, my position from darkness to light, from, darkness to from, light, obscurity, from obscurity to prominence, to prominence in, the in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The anointing, it does marvelous things. It does marvelous things. Amen. From that day forward, Bible says David was Carrying the anointing of God. No wonder he became Goliath killer. Because when everybody was running away, including King Saul, he could stand and say, Who is this uncircumcised man? Who is this uncircumcised man? As I kill a lion and a bear, so will this man be. Amen. Without anointing, he too would have run away. Is the anointing. That empowers a person to do what ordinary people cannot do. Jesus Christ himself had to be anointed. So church, every one of us needs to be anointed. Amen. We all need God's anointing. Amen. Because in Acts chapter 10, from verse 30, as they were recounting, Peter was speaking to the people in Cornelius' house and he said how Jesus Christ was anointed with the Holy Spirit and with power. Amen. And to Jesus was anointed, he didn't do anything. When the mother said, oh, they don't have wine. He said, woman, my time has not come. Why was he saying his time had not come? He was waiting to be anointed. Because until he was baptized, and Bible says he came out of the water, and the anointing rested upon him in the form of a dove. The spirit came upon him. He went about doing good, healing all that were sick, and freeing them from the oppression of the devil. Shout a big amen and clap amen. for the Lord. Amen. Shout, 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 shout. Amen. If somebody is sleeping, yes. push them with your hand. Yes. Tell them, wake up and hear the word Amen. of God. Amen. You cannot sleep. Hey. Hallelujah. Amen. Watch out for the one sitting by you. If they sleep, wake them up. Tell them, hear the word of God. That's the food you need. A big amen. Amen. Is God good to somebody? All amen. the time. Do we need to be anointed of God? Yes, we do. Receive the anointing. Receive, receive that divine I element that will change you from ordinary yes. to extraordinary. Amen. Today you think you are not known. The anointing will make you known. Amen. The anointing will set you in a light. Yes. The anointing will make you prominent. Amen. The anointing will make your children champions. Amen. Receive that divine I element. Receive, it. receive that divine I element. And as many that believe, it is yours. Amen. We need that divine element every single day. No wonder somebody sang, anointing, follow me. Let the power of the Holy oh, yeah. Ghost follow me. Anointing, follow. We will receive some divine elements before Amen. we go. We receive that divine element before we go. I will save it. Power belongs to God. Amen. It's for transformation. Amen. It transformed Jesus to be able to move out and do what he was supposed to do. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So that is the anointing. The second purpose or working of the anointing is for accomplishment. Amen. Anointing helps a person to accomplish. But without anointing, you cannot accomplish. Amen. You can try, but you are limited. Because it's the anointing that makes a person unlimited. Amen. And that is why in Zachariah chapter 4, Zachariah went to Zerubbabel huh, and spoke about the anointing upon them as children of God. Please read 6 to 9. So he answered and said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, 
not by might nor by power mm -hmm. but by my spirit says the lord of amen. hosts amen who are you O great mountain mm -hmm. before zerubbabel you shall become a plain and he shall bring forth the capstone with shouts of grace grace to eat amen moreover yes. The word of the Lord came to me saying, Yes. The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this temple. Yes. His hands shall also finish it. Then you will know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. Amen. 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 The hand started it, but the hand grew weary. Without the anointing, your hands will grow weary. And we know those hands carry the gates of destiny. So without the anointing, you stop halfway. You will stop halfway. You will be stuck. Because when the storms are coming, when the distractions are coming, when the opposition is coming, when resistance is coming, when negative criticisms are always coming, it takes the anointing to keep going. Amen. It gives the anointing to keep going. Amen. It gives the anointing to keep going. Yes. Without the anointing, you will stop. That's why I said the hand of Zerubbabel that laid this foundation will accomplish it. Amen. So go and remind them they are carrying my anointing. They cannot stop. It's not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit. The career of the anointing. The, that divine element is that Holy Spirit. His special purpose of resting on a person for that person to accomplish. Look at David. After killing Goliath, it wasn't the end. He went to fight Philistines. He won the battle. He goes to fight Amalekites. He wins the battle. He wins every battle. Ha! That was the working of the anointing. Amen. He was anointed to conquer all the enemies of the children of Israel. No wonder Solomon came and said, God has given me peace on all sides. God has given me rest on all sides. Because my father has fought all the battles. So he was anointed to conquer. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And he did conquer. Mm. The anointing can come. By the laying on of hands. And God told Moses, lay your hands on Joshua and transfer your spirit to him that he may continue from where you are stopping. So, by laying on of hands, anointing can be imparted. And look at Joshua. He did so great. By Joshua chapter 1, 6 to 8, God was already speaking to him. Don't, don't turn away from my law. Meditate on it day and night and do everything in it that you may have good success and prosper in whatever you do. And as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. Amen. And he did so great. Moses never commanded the son to stand still. But Joshua commanded the son to stand Amen. still. You understand when they were fighting battle, Moses was just holding the staff up. And Bible says his hand was tired. Eh? Now they have to put big stone for him to sit down. And his brother and all had to hold his hand up. Because when his hands were coming down, they were losing the battle. And look at the guy that came after him. By the impartation of laying his hands and transferring the anointing upon him. As for him, he didn't go and stand on a mountain to say, hold my hands. He says, son, stand still. Moon, stand still. Yes. Until I finish this battle, yes. sun you cannot set, Amen. moon you cannot come out. Amen. The anointing. Yes. We can do greater things. Amen. Jesus said, I am going to the Father and the works I do, you can also do. And greater works than this. Why are we not doing greater works? Because we are limited. Many people are not carrying the anointing. And we need anointing like never before. Amen. Without anointing, you cannot Amen. accomplish. It is the anointing that makes the impossible possible. Amen. It is the anointing. Joshua. And by that anointing, he led the people of God into the promised land. Amen. The workings of the anointing. Amen. We need anointing. Amen. We need anointing. Without anointing, you can be forgotten. 
Without anointing, you can be forgotten. It is the anointing that brings divine remembrance. Amen. When you have something to accomplish for God. Because when God visited Jacob, Genesis 30, right? As he was telling the, the, the wives, he said, in the time of breeding, I had a dream and the Lord stood by me and said, I have seen all that Laban is doing to you. Can you read that for us? Is it Genesis 30? You have it? You don't have it? Verse. Verse 10. 9, 10, 11. When Leah saw that she had stopped bearing, she no, then look at Genesis 31. It should be there. It's about the dream he had in breeding season. And it happened. Yes. At the time when the flocks conceived. Yes. That I lifted my eyes and it, saw in a dream. In a dream. And behold, the rams which leaped upon the flocks were, were streaked, hmm. speckled, and mm -hmm. gray spotted. Hmm. Then the angel of God spoke to me in a dream, saying, Jacob, and I said, Here I am. Hmm. And he said, Lift your eyes now and see. All the rams which leap on the floors are streaked, speckled, and gray spotted. For I have seen all that Laban is doing to you. For I have seen all that Laban is doing to you. It's the anointing. The anointing makes sure God is keeping his eye Amen. on his own anointed. Amen. The anointing makes sure he keeps his eye on us. No one, no wonder some 105, the psalmist was singing. The Lord alone was with the Lord was with them. He rebuked kings for their sake and permitted no one to do them harm. Say ye touch not mine and do my prophets no harm. Amen. So it means the anointing makes a person untouchable. Amen. If somebody tries to touch you, they have touched God. Mm. And if you read Zachariah, some of the things Zachariah was telling Zerubbabel, he said, the Lord said, I've made you the apple of my eye. Amen. And I have set a wall of fire around you. Amen. Because there are things that the anointing must accomplish. And God watches to make sure those things are protected from being destroyed. Amen. The anointing. Somebody shout the anointing. The anointing. Somebody shout the anointing. The anointing. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Anoint me. Anoint me. Anoint me. Anoint me. And let this anointing transform my life. Turn my life around. Turn my life around. Make me a new woman. Make me a new man. Make me a new boy. Make me a new girl. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'll continue Amen. next week. Shall we Amen. rise on our feet? Anointing rest on me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost of Mommy sing it for us. The anointing. If you want to be somebody, it is the anointing that will make you somebody. If you want to be favored, it is the anointing that will grant you favor. Without anointing, you can get nowhere. You can gather, but the enemy will scatter it. It's the anointing that preserves the accomplishment. Anointing, oh Lord. Anointing. For ten minutes, the anointing to come upon us. The anointing to rest upon us. Let's go. Let the power of
need that divine element. I need that divine unshame that I'll be able to find shame. That I'll be able to go on in life. That I'll be able to live my destiny. That I'll be able to come to accomplishment. That my life will be transformed. That anointing transforms a person. That anointing must transform our life. It must change us. 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 Pray. 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 Anointing fall on us. Anointing fall on us. Anointing fall on us. We can do nothing without anointing. 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 Holy Ghost, baptize us, baptize us, that divine element to come upon us, 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 Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, come upon us, come upon us, come upon us, anointing come upon us, anointing baptize us.
against you, you are unkillable. Therefore, any time in your body that wants to kill you, dies by the anointing. Dies by the anointing. Dies by the anointing. Dies by the anointing. Hallelujah. The anointing. The anointing. The anointing. The anointing.
We understand. We are nothing without the anointing. Today we know there's a stirring up of the anointing. There's a stirring up of the power of God that rests upon us. We receive of you, Holy Spirit. We receive of you, Holy Spirit. And we thank you for reaching out to us. It's the anointing that brings divine remembrance. Therefore, remember your men. Remember your women. Remember the youth. Remember the children. Remember the pastors. Remember the leaders. Both departmental heads. And all areas of the kingdom. Operating in living waters. And Lord, let your anointing rest upon us like Amen. never before. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Transform our lives. Amen. Lord, let there be a transformation in our lives. Amen. Changing us Jesus. from darkness to light. Amen. Your ways we should let our light shine that men may see the good works. Amen. Help us to shine. For without the anointing, we cannot shine. Amen. We can work. But your word says it's not by might, nor by power, but by your spirit. Therefore, we receive your anointing upon everything we put our hands to do. That we may prosper in it. That it may be well with us. That we may live transformed lives. Transformed lives. The anointing bringing to remembrance the word of our God. That we will not be hearers only. But indeed doers. 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 For your word says he that hears the word and does not do it. Is not the one that looks himself in the mirror. And forgot how he or she looks like. Help us, O oh Lord, to be doers of your word. To be spirit-filled people. That we will take down the giants of the land. That men will see that power belongs to you. I bless your people. I send them forth with blessing. I bless Brother Rob and the wife. As the angels overcame by the word of their testimony, give them overcoming power to sustain the blessing. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, bless this house. Remember your people and let it be well with them. That we will continue to praise your name. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Shake somebody. Brother Bebe, come forward. Let people see you. Somebody was asking me, who is Brother Bebe? The one that has given birth to twins. You see small man, mighty girls. You see? Aha. That is that. Amen. So the anointing for twins is released. Amen. Somebody is already pregnant in Calgary also with twins. Amen. So more twins. Amen. Amen. If you want twins, shake him before you go. There shall be many twins. 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 Yes, many twins. Many twins. Many twins. Many twins. Many twins. Many twins. One more twin. Amen. God bless you. Congratulations. Amen. So let's call them and visit them. Amen. Amen. And don't stay home too long. Come the babies to